Hello everyone, it's Em from Windsor's Driving School and today I want to give you some tips on what to avoid during your CDL road test. So, you're going in your CDL road test, past the pre-trip, you pass the skills, now you're going on the road. There's a couple things that you have to avoid so you can pass and get your license. The road portion usually is the easiest part of the test, but there are some automatic failures you gotta watch out for. But first one, the first automatic failure, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Do not run past any red lights or stop signs. If you go past any red lights or stop signs, automatic failure. Also, make sure you're keeping track of all the signs on the road. The examiner might ask you different questions like what's the speed limit here? What did that sign say? So make sure that you're vigilant at all times. So when you're on the road, make sure you're always scanning every five to 10 seconds. That will help you not miss any road signs. Another automatic failure that you might encounter is if you hit a curb. So if you're doing a right turn, most often not the right turns and the left turns, but sometimes you never know. If you're on a curb doing a U-turn, do not hit any curbs. You hit a curb, boom, right there and then, the road test is over. So make sure you avoid all curbs, obviously all objects. If you hit anything else, obviously it's automatic failure. Please don't hit anything on your road test. The next part is excessive grinding bad shifting habits. So if you're grinding excessively, they're gonna fail you. So if it happens every once in a while, you miss a gear, it's okay, you're a brand new driver, they understand that. But if you're grinding excessively, every five seconds, all they hear is uh, uh, and you can't get into gear, that's it, you cannot drive. You will not, will not be able to pass that part of the test. You can take it in an automatic truck where you don't have to worry about grinding. But if you take it in a manual truck, you cannot do excessive excessive grinding when you're shifting. The next part is if you slow down too quickly. An easy way to fail the road test is if you make the examiner sitting next to you sick. So if you're constantly pressing that brake and you're constantly stopping the vehicle too short, guess what, you're gonna fail. You make your examiner sick or you scare him, simple as that, you can't do that. If you scare your passenger, imagine how dangerous you actually ha almost got into an accident or something almost could have happened. So make sure you don't stop on those brakes too early. Also, make sure you show the examiner that you know how to downshift properly if you are taking a manual vehicle. So if you see a red light ahead of you or you see everybody ahead of you braking, make sure you start downshifting the gears so you start slowing down gradually and that will help you with the sudden stops. Okay, so those are some of the points when you're going over to CDL Class A that are automatic failures. Now with a CDL Class B, when you're going with the bus and you're going over railroad tracks, you have to make sure you stop, look and listen. When you see a railroad truck, you must stop. So with your bus, you must stop before the railroad track. So that means you must open up your door, put your four year flashes on, check right and left to make sure there's no actual trains coming by. You're gonna go over the railroad tracks nice and slow. And then as soon as you go over it, put your four year flashes back off, close your door and then head on over. Just make sure you do that when you actually have a class B which is a bus going over railroad tracks. When you have a regular class A truck to trailer, you don't have to worry about railroad tracks unless you're actually carrying hazardous material, which you're obviously not there doing during the road test, or a tanker. If you're driving a tanker, you must stop at the railroad tracks as well. So hopefully these tips help you and you avoid these mistakes on your CDL road test on the road portion of the test. Like I said, it is the easiest part to pass, so don't mess up. But if you mess up on one of those little mistakes that I said, you will fail and you will have to go back again and do that road portion, which is not too bad because you don't have to do the pre-trip or the skills. All you have to do is the road, pass on your first try. Don't worry about going back again and make yourself happy and get a CDL career started right away as soon as you get that license. And if you need help getting a job, have to get your license, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at Windsor's Driving School at 908-862-3252. We can help you get your CDL license and also we have lifetime job placement to help you get a job anytime after you graduate from our school. So thank you and have a great week.